All right, what's up, guys? Um, Saturday morning. Sarah had to go to work again. I'm sorry, she's not going to be in the video today. Maybe tonight. We'll see. But I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys about autopilots. So when we got this boat and we were doing a bunch of work to it, kind of picking up where the previous owner left off and, and continuing their work, and I knew we needed an autopilot on this boat. I knew I was going to take it down the East Coast. We bought the boat up in Long Island, New York, and I knew I was taking it down to Florida and hopefully over to the Bahamas, which we did last year. And I knew um, a lot of that I was going to be single-handing, so obviously I don't want to sit at the helm the whole entire time constantly steering, especially out in the ocean. If you have autopilot, I knew from experience on Tula that when you have autopilot, you just set it, the boat just goes and you keep an eye out. You can make sure you're on course every once in a while. Um, just make sure you're not going to hit anything. But then you can actually read a little bit um, while you're on watch and work on projects and things like that. So um, I was looking at autopilot for this boat. Now on Tula it was simple. It's just like an electronic arm autopilot that steered the tiller on the sailboat. Um, it was cheap. It was like 300 bucks or 400 bucks or something. So on this boat, I was looking for something similar. I didn't need anything that was going to go by waypoints or um, anything fancy like that. I just wanted something where I could set the compass bearing and the autopilot would make the boat go straight on that on that course. That's it. Like, no waypoints, no connected to GPS. That's all I wanted. And they have stuff like that. They're called uh, wheel steering pilots. Um, and that works if you have mechanical steering, but the previous owner replaced our steering with hydraulic steering, which is awesome. It works great, super smooth, but the thing about hydraulic steering is that the center point of your wheel is always changing because the fluid and the air, I guess, in the fluid or something like that is, I don't know, The set, it's always changing. So the center point of this wheel is not always the same position as center point on the rudder does that make sense all right well i did a bunch of research and i found like garmin's and um ray marines and things that were kind of like they could do what i wanted but there was still there were too much money they were like over three grand and i just didn't want to spend that much money for something simple just something simple that i needed so i found two products after digging and digging two two brands that was exactly what i needed all right, so the two that I actually found were the Cytex, and they have the SP70 and the SP80, and the Comnav, and I forget what model I was comparing it to there. But I've read actually online that a lot of the basic parts for those two units are the same, the pump and, and the computer or something like that. Um, so very similar products. I ended up going with the Cytex SP70, the handheld autopilot system. Um, it's listed here at 2200 something like that and that depends on like what size pump you get and things like that I paid right around there like just over two grand just want to sh give you guys like kind of an overview of the system and let you know how I like it all right so the Cytex comes with a handheld control here it comes with a hydraulic pump that I have right behind the helm in here hydraulic pump, the computer, the processor there, and then there's a, uh, a compass down below, and then in the back there's a rudder positioning sensor. So it was really easy to hook up. All I did was tee into the, uh, the hydraulic steering lines, and I had to tee that into the pump. Everything was pretty straightforward, pretty simple, um, and even the wiring was pretty simple. It came with all the wiring I needed. Um, it took me just uh, probably like four hours to do to get all set up and everything and the reason I went with the SP70 the handheld control because they do have one that's the SP80 that's just like a built-on control was because I can take this thing off and I can come around over here or have it on the front of the boat and you can buy an additional port for this handheld thing uh, sorry about the mess it's gross back here this is the port for the handheld control and I could buy an additional one one of these and mount it up on the upper helm and actually unplug this and take the handheld control up there so like I said I mounted the pump and the processor um, right behind the front helm here right on the other side of the wall 
Um, there were some recommendations on where to mount that stuff. I forget exactly what, but I did take uh, most of the recommendations. And then this is the compass. They recommended, I think, mounting it um, somewhere close to the center of the boat and down low. But it had it was supposed to be away from any big metal things or uh, electronics or other compasses. So I just mounted it as this nice little shelf right here that was already there. And it's down low towards the middle of the boat. Um, it's a good mount away from the engine and not by any compasses or anything. So um, it's been working awesome for me. All right, and then this is the rudder positioning device right here. It's just a little rod that's clamped on to the rudder post. So like I said before that, uh, with the hydraulic steering, the center point of the rudder and the wheel are not always in line. So that rudder positioning system is what tells the computer what, what position the rudder is. All right, I'll just turn it on for you guys. We're at anchor, so we are not gonna use it, but you'll see how it works. All right, so power's on to the unit. Just hold pilot. So, Right now, when with when there's a P, it's on autopilot, and it's just going to keep the boat on the same course that you have set here. You can hear the, um, the pump going a little bit now. It's not going to do anything because, uh, or it's not going to do too much because we're on anchor, but... And then from here, if we want to just add a degree to starboard, just go like that. Add a degree at a time back to port, just go like that. And then if all of a sudden I want to take it out of autopilot mode, just hit standby. And now it's out of autopilot mode. I could steer no problem. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a way that you can um, hook this unit up to a GPS. And you might even be able to set waypoints through your GPS. I don't know. I've never experimented with that. I don't and then I'm pretty sure there's a way Yeah, you can set courses. I don't know. That's as far as I've gone with this unit. Um, and that's all I need. I love it. Um, I recommend it. So if you guys are looking at autopilot, I hope that kind of helps, um, gives you some information about them, especially if you have hydraulic steering, you're on an old trawler like mine. If you have just manual like gear steering, I'm sure you could go with that wheel steering unit. I think it's just like a little motor that mounts like right here. And there's like a band that runs around the wheel, something like that. I'm not positive, but uh, it might be a little bit cheaper. But hope that helps. If you have any more questions, just put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Let me know if I missed anything or let me know what you guys have um, with your experiences with autopilots. Thanks, guys. Talk